Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gaming. Now in this week's edition we have a bridge created by a fantastic duo of creators. We have some Christmas trees, well almost, and we'll finish on some beautiful French buildings based in Paris. Let's do this. So to kick things off today we have the historical market hall by Jens. Now this beautiful model itself has been designed extremely well. The texture levels are fantastic. I personally love the roofs. They look so unique and so detailed for this sort of a build. And it really surprises me how well all these creators can cram so much high detail into a very small file size and sort of low tries as well. Really does make this game something else. And something else that makes the game amazing is this the nighttime views i know we don't use it as much but look how incredible the buildings look up next we have the japanese police station by takashi 269 now this creator has released a lot of very nice and tidy buildings recently and i particularly like this one not sure if it's based on the japanese building itself but the model itself can certainly be used in a number of different cultures fantastic build a unique type of build in fact by the number of buildings that are interconnecting to one another and well beautiful model and even at night time and up next we always like to see him it's a new creator it's duncan with his security booth now we always love to see new creators coming into the mix and certainly when they design a first model as good as this one. Fantastic build. What it's needed is to be honest for this size of a model and we've certainly got forward to some more builds. And up next we have the return of Spence with his abandoned office block. And strangely this model itself seems to have skipped through the workshop and not had that many hits. But look at it. I'm not sure why. The detail levels are sensational. Not only is it highly detailed on the outside, but look at that. In the inside you can see the graffiti. You can see the layout of the actual building and those staircases on the sides. They're not easy to do. Overall a fantastic model. I hope you now see this and get this built and placed in your city. It's duo time now with the Connell Bridge, Jiren and Armesto join forces to create this fantastic, beautiful looking bridge found in Scotland. Now the actual metalwork bridge itself is done by of course Jiren, he's been doing some excellent bridges as of late but combined very nicely with Armesto's brick arches. And on the same trend Armesto brings us the aqueduct prop. So whether you want to use it for its real purpose of carrying water or make a fancy bridge the options there for you for both. Also this week.
Titan is up next with the Town Hall Paderborn, which is a town hall based in Germany. Now this building was built in the 17th century and the texture levels and detail is out of this world. A very unique building, certainly one that doesn't fit every theme, but it certainly fits the theme that it's fitted into very nicely indeed. And Titan has never let us down with highly detailed buildings and this certainly adds to his repertoire. It seems Christmas is coming and last week we had Mr Miyagi and this week Mr Mason with these illuminated bear trees. Now this view you can't see him too well but hang on a minute. Let's kick the lights off and see what these beauties do. Look at that. Fantastic design. Something that really brighten up your town and city and well make it look Christmassy. We're nearly there guys. And we're going to jump into some French buildings to finish off this episode and the French flats by Jez are certainly an outstanding model. The detail levels are out of this world and well when he released his first French flat I did hope that he would continue with a number more and we are now up to a large number of these and just look at them. The detail levels are absolutely amazing and I love the brickworks on the side. I don't think we could ask for much more from this guy. If you're creating a French city, you have got a good amount of assets. And I did say we was going to finish on a French trend. Paris Row Street and Corner set by Feinblood is another outstanding version of assets for a French build. And it was difficult this week between both Jez and this creator. But this is my favourite for this week's edition of the Weekly Asset Roundup. Detail levels are incredible. And well, they look French, but you can get away with putting it into a lot of European buildings. I think these are probably some of the best creators, certainly when it comes to French models. Fantastic work. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Asset Roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best. Oh, 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 oh,